So I mentioned in the first video about the major pairs using the 15-minute charts. And we had Good Friday. And Good Friday, to me, was a day zero setup. We had a narrow range consolidated day. Uh, obviously, we talk about day zero. If you aren't sure what that is, basically, day zero is a narrow range day. The on Good Friday, low volume, possibly, but just a tightly wound day after a move, large move up on Thursday, consolidating, locking in the high, locking in the low, and then going inside of that and going sideways. So we had our low of the day, <clears throat> low of the day. So again, we go back to that first video, timing window, high and low of the day. Engulfments, pin hammers, round numbers, 75s, 25. So we can have clustered volume trap below 50, between 25 and 50. So again, the trade may be off of 25, okay? We have volume trapped underneath 50. They lock in the low. They come down. They layer. They expand the range up. They give us a high of the day in Asia. So again, I don't trade the pound in Asia. I mean, you know, London, British pound, L trades in London. Go to work when the banks go to work. So they get traders shorting this on an M pattern in Asia. So understanding uh, risk reward, you're not even in a 25 pip box here. So you're risking, you know, I know some people say, well, just, you know, go 10 pips, risk 10 for 10, be get really good. That's not my style. I'm looking for consolidated volume for a fast explosive move, working from the high and low of the day. And think about what's happening. Somebody's long here. Somebody's long in the early session. They're, they're in the money. They follow the second hit to the high. They're trapped. Now they're going back to hit their stops. They want to move money through the market, and they need you to take the other side. So what do they need to do to get you to take the other side? They need to trap you in the wrong direction or zigzag you back and forth, getting you chasing it both ways. High of the day, low of the day. Timing window. I'm looking for the London... You know, the, the British pound to move in the London session. Does it always? They may consolidate it in London for the explosive move at the end of that three-hour window. It sets a high, it sets a low. In this particular case, they expanded the range in the upward direction. They gave us a high. They come down and hit the low. We get our bear pin hammer engulfment right off the bat. So we have our M pattern and we have our low of the day. The market pulls back right away, pins down right at the open of the middle equity hour. A little bullpen hammer beside that for the explosive move through the high, triggering the previous day's high. Remember, we had a consolidated narrow range day on Friday after a big move up. Big move up, consolidation, continuation. Stop on low. I'm looking for a long trade. I'm looking for stop on low for the trade in the long direction. Several traders took this trade. They sent me screenshots. You know, fantastic. But again, clearing 50. So clearing 50. Some people sell this. You're selling a breakout, an explosive breakout. So again, we want to be selling an M pattern or buying a W pattern. Now, people say, well, this isn't a W, except that we had a narrow range day after a large up move. I'm taking a trend trade back in line with the original move up into consolidation. So uh, we I'm not going to go to the one minute, but we will just for demonstration purposes on this particular chart to show that when you get really good at this, and again, it's always a game of constant progress, the same chart formation appears. We get the three pushes into the low at the open of the session. I remember what we talked about. The four-hour, one-hour traders are now triggered in short. Uh, we're below, well below the four-hour candle. But the new four-hour bar has opened, and we've triggered the lows. And then we get a three-bar reversal engulfment. So understanding what these patterns look like. We've got a low bear. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three down, low bear engulfment. These patterns have been showing up since the beginning of time, but obviously recognizing them in live time takes practice. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to you know, get some wrong. You're going to get caught, but that's why we use a one-bar stop because when this reverses, and this my thesis is that this should go vertical really fast, I got a one-bar stop. If it comes down and get, it gets me, I want to get out. You can, survive a, a, you can survive a trade like this unless you're completely over-leveraged, but understanding the, the premise, they're 
taking you down lower. And anybody who sells at the open, okay, the move's already in progress. If you sell here, chasing the blow off, you're getting caught down low. They're getting you, when you see them selling it down low into the open, you got to be thinking already, they're getting you to chase the move. Hit the stops, expand the range, come back and get the guy who got it right on the 15 minute. So we go back to our 15 minute chart. And they come back and pin into that guy. Okay, do you notice where the pin went? Right into the 15 minute pin bar. So the further away it gets, the, the worse your fill gets. So again, remembering you're at the low of the day. You are at the low of the day. And when you see this enough times, you're going to get sick and tired of missing it, and you're going to hit that and say, I've got a one-bar stop, and you're going to be amazed when it pulls away. Now, again, recognizing the difference between a breakout versus a stop hunt. Three pushes and a one, two, three to end the move. Same scenario the next day. We have a high of the day. They expand the range somewhat. They trigger it early, getting traders triggered long before putting 25 pips into them. Going into consolidation at the low of the day in our gap time. High of the day, low of the day. A little W reversal at the end of Asia. Back up to the high, right in our timing window. Engulfment of the high bull at the high of the session at the previous day's high. We have a 50 pip plus move down. We can do a measured move of that structure. It doesn't matter. You could just trade it. Get in, have a target set, or follow it down, whatever you like, but recognizing every time it goes into consolidation, you could be ending the, the end of the move, but we get one push, two pushes, and one, two, three. Same scenario. You're down at the low of the day, at the timing window open. Nobody wants to go long here because it's a downtrend. But we have our W reversal, a bullpen hammer, and we have our lower highs, lower highs, okay? I'm talking about trades that are going to move fast, even if it's 25. I want to know that we've got a locked-in situation. When we look at our one-minute chart, we have our consolidation at the low. Remember, we've dropped it down roughly 50 pips, okay? The consolidation is at the low of the day. And what do we do right prior to our U.S. Session 12 candle window? They hit the stops, pull it back, engulfment, reversal, consolidation, second bar. Let's zoom in here. The second bar is a bullpen hammer. Bullpen hammer. So this is not hindsight. This is how it works. We're at the low of the day. We're looking for this. We're looking for a stop hunt where they lock it in, pull it back, give us a W, consolidation, clusters of volume, trapped on the wrong side for a fast stop on up. Okay, so understanding that we may be in line for another move back down. One push, two push, three pushes. Take money off the table. If you get an engulfment at numbers and you're up 25 pips on the pound or the euro, I'm taking the money. This is this is probably what you're going to get out of it. Now, this was a 50 pip move down plus 75 pips, but understanding there's still going to be a stop on even in a trend trade. Uh, three pushes, engulfment, M structure, sideways, 50 at numbers. Okay, remember. Okay, we, we put a high in place. They hit it again. They hit the stops. Pulled it back inside. They hit it a, a third time. Engulfment. Okay, one bar stop at numbers, at 50. 25 pips. Back down. Where? To get the guy who's long off of 25. Nobody gets a free lunch. So again, we're at the low of the day here. Low of the day. They pull it back inside into our 12 candle window. They go into consolidation. Consolidation after the stop hunt at the low of the day. Bullpen hammer. Breakout pullback inside bar. Somewhere in here, if you're not already in here, you need to be thinking longs. Breakout pullback inside bar. Continuation. Low hanging fruit all through here. Lower highs. Stop hunt back up. Minimum of 25 pips. When we look at our one minute chart, we have our consolidation at the low. Remember, we've dropped it down roughly 50 pips. Okay, The consolidation is at the low of the day. And what do we do right prior to our U.S. Session 12 candle window? They hit the stops, pull it back, engulfment, reversal, consolidation, second bar. 
let's zoom in here. The second bar is a bullpen hammer. Bullpen hammer. So this is not hindsight. This is how it works. We're at the low of the day. We're looking for this. We're looking for a stop hunt where they lock it in, pull it back, give us a W, consolidation, clusters of volume, trapped on the wrong side for a fast stop hunt up. Okay, so understanding that we may be in line for another move back down. One push, two push, three pushes. Take money off the table. If you get an engulfment at numbers and you're up 25 pips on the pound or the euro, I'm taking the money. This is this is probably what you're going to get out of it. Now, this was a 50 pip move down plus 75 pips. But understanding there's still going to be a stop on even in a trend trade. Uh, three pushes, engulfment, M structure, sideways 50 at numbers. Okay, remember, okay, we, we put a high in place, they hit it again. They hit the stops. Pulled it back inside, they hit it a, a third time. Engulfment, okay, one bar stop at numbers, at 50. 25 pips, back down. Where? To get the guy who's long off of 25. Nobody gets a free lunch. So again, we're at the low of the day here. Low of the day. They pull it back inside into our 12 candle window, they go into consolidation. Consolidation after the stop hunt at the low of the day. Bullpen hammer, breakout pullback inside bar. Somewhere in here, if you're not already in here, you need to be thinking longs. Breakout pullback inside bar, continuation. Low hanging fruit all through here, lower highs, stop hunt back up, minimum of 25 pips. The next day, they pull off the low of the session. We have a lower high heading into the next day. They hit the high, drop it back down inside. We have a high of the day. We then have our low of the day, the low of the Asian session. In the gap time, they break out. Bear pin hammer. We have the previous day's low underneath of us. Somebody went along on this bear pin hammer. But we're in a breakout. We're looking for a stop hunt. Let's take a look at our one minute chart. We get a one, two, three engulfment prior to our 12 candle window. One push, two pushes, and a one, two, three engulfment. This is not a W at numbers. This is a breakout pullback and a failed follow through in the upward direction. So again, the difference, a distinct difference between a consolidation and then a stop hunt versus a breakout. So obviously remembering that traders may be chasing this down to the previous day's low. They pull it back prior to our gap time, one push, two pushes, and then a one, two, three at the high engulfment of the entire upper structure, three bar engulfment. Okay, that's a continuation move for the fast stop hunt down. Now, again, just ignoring all of this, not doing anything. We're looking for the cluster of volume. If we think this is going up, we need to see a cluster of volume, right? So we talk about the cluster of volume. This is a dead giveaway. Cluster of volume, and then we want to see the vertical move and the little bar. We get our fast vertical move down, get our little bar at the bottom, Okay, some traders may have gone long right off the bottom. Okay, even if they're wrong, it they they, they goes down to the low, but we're still in a, a high low range of only eight pips. So one, two, three, you're in, in a down move. We need to see the consolidation. They lock in the low. Okay, this consolidation at numbers is our is our giveaway. One push, two pushes. Hit the stops. We're 25 pips below that range now, so they've dropped it 50 pips. If you're not already in this existing move, they go into consolidation. They go up in three pushes, come back down one more time. We get our engulfment on top of our consolidation at 25, which was 50 pips below the original stop hunt down. Our high of the session is up top. Where does it go? goes back to get the traders who were short at the beginning of the session. So again, working off numbers, looking for the consolidation, okay, the, the recognizing the difference between a consolidation stop hunt versus a breakout pullback continuation. Consolidation, stop hunt. 
consolidation, stop hunt back up, come back and hit the stops on traders that were long. Engulfment, locking in the low. There's no space left, down low. They've worked the low. Pulled it back, they get traders chasing this. They hit the stops one more time, giving us our short and W inside of the 25 pip box, back to the high of the session for 40 plus pips back up to the high. Understanding that you're going to see the same setups over and over and over again. You may have been in the blow off on the move down. But if you've come to the screen, you think you've missed all this, they're going to work. They're working the low. They've, they, they've gone down. They've gone down again. Consolidated. Pulled it back inside and gone down again. If you're in here, you're inside. Let them go to the extreme again. This is the low of the day is locked in. The low of the day was, was here, but they blew through it. Consolidation. Hit the stops. Pull it back inside, hitting stops on traders that were short. We're inside, so we want them to work into the low. If they work this up into the high, we might get a sell-off back down. But they worked it down into the low. Our thesis says that they're going to go back up and get the guy who shorted the engulfment up top. So he got in 19, our engulfment down low. If you weren't in down somewhere at numbers down here, if you weren't, if you're in on the engulfment, you're in roughly at 85. We're looking at 30 pips roughly back up to that area, 30 to 40 pips. Uh, this market continued to move higher. Uh, it did get 50 pips. Would traders have taken all that? Not too sure. It all depends on what their plan was and what they may have taken some off and held on for more. The market continued to make new highs. Uh, didn't blow off anywhere. Again, it's having a plan, uh, understanding where this market may have failed but also recognizing that there were stops back up above where that move started in the gap time up at 38.31. So again, uh, filled down low, plenty of room back up for 50 pips on the 15 minute chart and just knowing where your levels are and then watching how price behaves when it gets there. So hopefully you got value from that traders. The same pattern, low of the day, Know the difference between a breakout pullback versus a consolidation stop on into the low or into the high of the day. W's, shortened, uh, extended W's, uh, one, two, threes, on the blow off, vertical candles, all those little subtle variations, but again, working from the high and the low in the timing window. Stay disciplined, stay focused. Next video, we'll look at the Euro and look at the same setups, different variations, same behaviors. Uh, again, just before we leave, you can see the three pushes up on the pound. One push, two pushes, three pushes into the U.S. session last hour before the 12 candle window opens. And the failed follow through for the big vertical fast move all the way down. Start counting these pushes, understanding that the gap time can tell us ahead of time when a move is potentially going to be blowing off fast and furious or if we're about to have a reversal or a continuation trend. Have a great trading session and may the markets Hi, go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.